there's a sobbing January 6th insurrectionist who is now crying because according to his lawyer, his brain was not fully developed when he decided to engage in an act of domestic terrorism, I kid you not. This is one of the youngest insurrectionists, was a teenager at the time, 18 or 19. But posted and bragged about this well after that attack at the US Capitol. Let's put up some of these pictures, okay? His lawyer requested a lighter sentence due to his brain not being fully developed when it took place. This is Leonard Ridge, who was 19 at the time when he posted a video of himself at the US Capitol, okay? The sentence handed down on Tuesday, January 4th, after his lawyer requested that a judge go light on his sentencing after citing medical studies that suggest his client's brain may not have fully matured at the time of the incident. The attorney, Laguzzi, said the now 20 year old Ridge told Judge James Boasberg that her client was only 19 years old and he allegedly broke down the doors of the offices of Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell and Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi and later bragged that he in fact made history. In the sentencing memo to the court last month, it was noted that some studies have found that a person's brain is not fully developed until they're in their mid 20s. She also added that these studies have called into question what a person can and cannot be held accountable for depending on their age. The attorney also argued that unlike many of the other individuals who participated in the riots, Ridge had to journey through the COVID-19 pandemic as a high school senior. (laughs) Oh My gosh, I mean the tragedy of what this privileged white male had to experience to get to the Capitol and attack it. Furthermore, the attorney claimed his interest in politics should be encouraged, especially when young people only dream of being influencers. I mean, judge, you have to look at what all my client has accomplished here. He's interested in politics. While there's no evidence to support, Ridge actually carried out any action or if he actually did break into the lawmakers offices. He did, however, write in a message, yeah, man, so epic. I have a video of me fighting riot police in the Capitol building. US Attorney Matthew Graves also acknowledged in his filing that Ridge boasted about him being part of the insurrection. Judge ordered a one year probated sentence after Ridge's release from prison and 100 hours of community service to be completed during that time. This is probably one of the worst legal defenses I've ever heard. I actually believe the attorney wanted him to go to jail. David, you gotta help me unpack this brother because literally the the defense is he had a messed up brain because he's young. He had to fight COVID in high school. And hey judge, I mean, what are we really talking about here? He's interested in politics, is that not a good thing judge? (laughs) I mean, what's everybody else's excuse, right? So (laughs) it sounds like the judge took into account that look, this guy was in jail for a period of time after the insurrection. So I guess he's getting credit for time served and that's why he's getting probation and community service. And so, okay, he was probably gonna get that anyway. I'm with you, I think if I were his attorney, I would have said, look, he made some mistakes. He was, you know, he was stupid to participate in violence, to trespass. He was stupider to boast about it. He's sorry. Um, I don't really see much remorse being expressed either by the attorney. It's everything is sort of an excuse by the defense attorney. Um, and I wonder why the judge then didn't say, you know what, you've already served, you know, six months in prison. I'm going to give you another six because you're violent. Um, it's it strikes me as a little bit surprising that the guy got off with probation, given just how ridiculous, ridiculous uh, that defense was. It was insane, Uh, it really was.